Good morning, Mr. Phelps. As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This recording will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim. I wanted to talk about a couple things today. One in particular, these vintage little mini tape recorders that they made a ton of them back in the late 50s, early 60s, through the mid 60s. Things that we had when we were kids that everybody wanted one. Nowadays, we carry cell phones, which do just about everything. I had one phone in the house when I was growing up. And to have a transistor radio, now that was something. We had transistor radios and walkie-talkies available and these little tape recorders available, which were pretty awesome technology at the time. And considering the impact of these and what they had on us, the transistor radios, you could take them with you. The recorders, you could take them with you. If you could afford the hi-fi recorders, but most people couldn't, they bought these small ones for voice dictation, and kids played with them. Recording off those little transistor radios, which you could do if you had a, a telephone recording attachment, those were the little devices that was like a suction cup that you would put on the phone and you could record a phone conversation. Well, those also work great if you put them right in front of the speaker because they were a magnetic pickup and they recorded much better than the crystal microphones that they had of the day for those little tape recorders. Much better. The little tape recorders had generally a frequency response of uh, 150 hertz and not very high. So you got to think about all these things that we had and what they turned into today. But I wanted to look at a particular tape recorder and can these things be repaired? You see a lot of them on eBay, a lot of these different models. This particular one that I wanted to tear into that I had already repaired. This is uh, an OMGS a model. Oh, let's see, I have the box here. Model uh, S611. We're going to look at that in a minute. But this brand, nobody actually knows what that means. OMGS <laughs> means, I don't think. But they were made by Tokyo Transistor Company. And I have to look at my notes here because I can't remember. But they were imported from a company in New York. It was North American Foreign Trade Company. And Tokyo Transistor made a lot of different uh, brands, shall we say. I have a number of radios. They made uh, Candle. This is a little Candle transistor radio. They made them in Universal brand. This is Universal. Many people call these drugstore radios. And exactly almost the same, you see the OMGS and the uh, OMEGAS. That was another Tokyo transistor. And they made quite a few different models out there and a few different brands. So let's look at this tape recorder and talk about some uh, repair hints. That I did with this would generally stand for all of them. Some of them you'd be able to repair, some of them you would not be able to repair. I will talk about that here in a minute. Now, this guy here, this is a six transistor, as I said, the OMGS, and repairing it wasn't too difficult because this style you can actually get into and replace things. Pop this off here. One of the things that you'd have to do, obviously, is these um, under you pull off the uh, wheels here because those definitely need lubricated. Take off these retaining clips, and these guys will just pop out. You can get in there and clean everything off, clean the shafts, put a little bit of lubricant on them, 
on this one they were really tight from the dried grease and if you notice this one actually has let me zoom in there Maybe. Oh, here, let me just hold it up a little closer. We'll zoom later. Um, this one actually just has a brass wheel on the shaft of the motor, which is fine. There are no other rubber wheels involved because usually those rubber wheels are what are going to cause you grief in one of these. because the rubber deteriorates. Now these aren't too bad here. You could clean these up, wash them good with a soap and water. Don't use alcohol on the rubber because it'll deteriorate it. Well, that cleans up pretty good. So you have a record, play, rewind, stop, volume. And on these old recorders, when you're recording, you need to turn the volume up all the way because that's tied into the circuitry. I have actually, I'll show you a schematic of this. And then you have a speed control because, of course, your batteries are going to going to uh, run down. And these motors don't have any particular speed control. Um, like, I would say, if you're going to compare these little DC motors to the 12-volt ones that we had in our 8-track tape players, I fixed many of those when I was younger. They actually had a set of contract contact center that were uh, on a centrifugal uh, it was a centrifugal switch so if the speed got too fast those little contacts would open and briefly slow the motor down that's how they kept the speed on those car tape players the four tracks how many of you remember the four track tape players I do and the eight tracks so let me pop this over and look on the inside here for a minute I already have the screws out. So these aren't too difficult. A lot of these have mechanical linkage. This one doesn't. Um, if you look, if you look how it works, this motor actually tilts on these wheels. I can move it here. You see how that motor tilts from the play to rewind? It just tilts. Simple, simple thing. And they actually, they have dial string here connected from the, uh, and it just changes the tilt of that motor just, just ever, ever so little. You can see the tilt change on that motor. Now, you want to clean this out good with swabs and alcohol and luckily you get one that didn't have any battery damage and you want to spray all the contacts out with uh, deoxit that works pretty good and let it dry and you want to replace all the capacitors in the little amplifier board because just like the old transistor radios they definitely age and give you issues. And I noticed one thing about these small capacitors when they start causing problems. For for one thing, I will, here's one of them out of here. This is a uh, 100 microfarad 6 volts. Now, this is supposed to be 100 microfarads, but let me pop that, let me show you. what this is going to read. Boy, my kickstand. Uh, can you see that? Let me put the kickstand down here. Now that's supposed to be 100 microfarads. But watch what it does. For some reason I noticed these little capacitors, for one thing, they'll either open or get a high ESR or look at that 418 microfarads now that's going to cause some issues because it's not going to work right 
So that causes a lot of problems. A, a number one issue in the little transistor radios are these dang little capacitors. I have a handful here that I took out. There's uh, Actually, there was four or five in, in this one. And you can get a replacement kit. Let me show you. Actually, these aren't expensive. You can buy these be, even though they're cheap. Uh, they're going to probably last just as long as uh, ever as uh, the originals. This is just a, a pack of uh, little caps. And just to show you, um, here's a 100 microfarad compared to the uh, old style 100 microfarad. Look at the difference there. A lot smaller, but they work just as good, just the same. They're all, all low voltage caps, and you can buy a set of these for like eight bucks. I mean, I'm sure they're going to outlast everything, outlast the transistor. But let's look at the bottom here. And I have the, here's the circuit board. I have it flipped upside down. You can see what it looks like. And another thing that goes bad with these motors is the bearings just dry out. Now, you can put a drop in. If you have one of those real small uh, oilers, it's, it's got like a needle on the end. You can pick them up like at Harbor Freight or anywhere, just a, a light oil. Those work good. You can get a little oil into the uh, top of the motor and spin it around. You get a little oil into the bottom, and you see this is easily accessible. Put a drop of oil there and just let it soak for a long time and spin it around, get it in there. But I want to tell you, some of these are sealed on the end, these little motors. And... You don't want to open them because unless you really have a little finesse and want to take your time. Because what they have in there, you have to figure a way to make yourself a jig to hold the gear or bushing or whatever's on the... Uh, end of it that's going to run the machine and find something and slightly start tapping that out so you don't damage everything and get a small drill bit and you can knock that off and if you unscrew these and take them apart you really got to watch because they don't have brushes per se what they usually have is two on each side of the commutator there's four of them they're like very fine wires. I don't know what they're made out of, but they don't wear, and they're used as brushes, and they rub against that commutator, but they're spring-loaded, spring and you can actually, when it's open, and if you're very careful when you have it apart and lube everything up, you can set that motor armature back in there, and you can ever so gently flip those little spring with a, a real small a pick or something. I use those little pointed picks or a jeweler screwdriver to flip them back on the commutator as they're supposed to be. And if you can hold that commutator down enough to get the top on without it pulling up because those magnets in the frame are going to want to pull it up. And then you can get that bugger back on and press your uh, wheel back on there. But other than that, these were unique toys and neat things that we had to play with when we were kids. So if you have any comments, questions, uh, shoot me an email, send me a comment.
and be careful if you're going to buy any of these. Check the pictures out good. There's a ton of them on eBay, but make sure that they look like one that you might be able to repair because I doubt that if many of these work. And they are asking too much money for them, especially if you get one that, that you can't repair. So you have to be careful. So other than that, good day and God bless.